All right, what's up everybody? Um, so I'll start with an apology. I know the guide videos are taking some time to come out. Um, I just haven't had a lot of time to complete them and they take a little bit while of editing time. Uh, and I've just been busy. And, and in fact, I'll be out of town this weekend, so it'll probably get pushed back some more. So trying to do more of these little videos, keep you guys sated, let you know I'm here and all that. And thankfully, Namco just gave us a patch. So we have some things that we can talk about. Now, if you're new to the channel, uh, I've done a few videos on Leroy, and the reason is that at the end of Tekken 7, I knew that the characters that I play were not going to be in Tekken 8. So I had to pick somebody new, and I thought Leroy was in a good spot. He, you know, couldn't be worse, right? He's going to get some new stuff for Tekken 8. He had to be at least decent. And then by the C time the CBT rolls around and, and goes away, uh, it seems pretty obvious that uh, I hate his changes. That is just a decision on my part, but I felt like he was really weak, especially compared to the rest of the cast. And it seems like that has played out. Namco has taken notice, so they are giving him some buffs, which is good because maybe he's good now. Um, we'll, ha we'll have to see, but it feels like the changes are good enough that he can maybe compete uh, now. So let's go through what they changed. So the big one is that they changed how his heat works. So if you are not familiar with Leroy, he has no other than his heat smash. He has no heat specific moves. Instead, when he uses any of the chain punch moves, they eat meter and they do extra chip damage. However, Namco has changed it so that now if they connect, he gains meter back. Now, this does a, a couple things. The first is it actually fixes an issue that he had. Um, and I don't know if it was intentional or what, but it was pretty bad, which is that if he were to do his built-in back to counter punch string, that counted. That counted as a, uh, as a chain punch combo. And it still does. So like if he does this and you do it late and they block it, it will eat meter as you just saw there. But previously it always ate meter. So what would happen is that you'd gain a little bit of meter back when you successfully parried because that's the unique trait if he successful and not just back to any of his parry moves. If they work, he gets a little bit of meter back. But what was happening is that you would successfully parry something, you'd get back a little bit of meter, you do the built in chain punch combo and it would eat all of that. So you would actually you're still ending up with negative meter because the chain punch combo does eats more meter than you get back from the parry. So it was really stupid and it felt like it was unintentional and or just made by somebody who doesn't know how Leroy works. And he also had the same issue with his uh, ground punches. Um, so the OTG punches where you hit somebody on the ground, there are situations where that's guaranteed. So he was essentially getting penalized by doing, just taking his free damage. Now th that doesn't happen anymore. Now he'll actually get a little bit of meter back, which is fantastic. And then the obvious thing though, or other thing that it changes is that if you keep landing your hits, um, you, whoops, I don't know why you that button. You, uh, you know, you can indefinitely extend his meter he can just keep getting meter back. So it makes his chip more powerful because you're either going to get chip or you're going to land the hit and then you're going to get more time on your meter. So it's really cool the way that they did it. And because of that fix with the parry and everything, you know, it makes it hard for your opponent to swing back because then they're potentially giving you a lot more meter uh, if you get a successful parry. So really strong changes. I think his heat will matter a lot more now, but in addition to that, and this kind of ties in with the heat, is that they changed his frames on a bunch of moves. Now, the most important, well, I'll say two, the most important ones to me are the 1-1 one, one string. So this will actually change into block here. This is a really important string because it's a natural combo uh, from the first jab, and you can confirm that. I'm mashing it out, but you can confirm that. So easy 40 damage, and uh, or sorry, it's a counter hit combo from the first jab. But if the second hit connects, which is a mid, then you can still confirm the rest of it for an easy 30 some damage. But previously, this third, the chain punches were punishable. So they were negative 13, not negative nine. And that was kind of an important element to that to the mind game of that string because it was either if I choose to stop because the last hit is really punishable. If I choose to stop, they can still punish me. So it's like a guessing game. Am I going to finish that last hit or not? 
and then if I finish the last hit, then I'm going to get punished harder. But now, now you can just do it. Now, <laughs> now it's like not a, a big deal. You can duck the chain punches, and if you're playing against Leroy, you're going to have to kind of know that. Um, but it's just so fast, like most people are not not ducking that. Unless you're using it so much that they see it coming, um, that just doesn't get ducked very often. So it's going to be really, really powerful because it's a, I mean, it's a jab string. So it's it's been an important move as long as he's had it. Um, so that's really cool. And then the other one is the forward three and while standing three string. This again was a move where the chain punches were punishable. So they were negative 12. Now they're only negative eight. And I think they, they added that pushback to it as well. So this is crazy because this, this jails, so you can't duck that. Um, but it's a natural combo, again, a confirmable thing. Uh, so 50 damage if that hits counter hit. Uh, it's really fast, you know, I-15, it's a knee. I mean, this is a really good string, and the one thing that was preventing it from being super powerful was the fact that this was punishable. It was, again, one of those situations where um, either you can take the risk and try to punish me and hope that I don't finish the string, or wait, see if I finish the string, and then punish me even harder. Now he doesn't, doesn't even have to worry about it. This has crazy range, too, like, for what it is. Um, so that's a super good move, and because of the heat change, like these are these are kind of spammable. <laughs> They're kind of spammable. Um, like even at negative eight, this is because of the pushback on that. Like you can you can still do stuff. Um, but that's not where. So those are the more important ones. But they fixed. I, I'll say fixed. But they changed frames on a bunch of other stuff too. That that make it really good. So the one is uh, I shouldn't say a bunch of other stuff, but some other stuff. The big one is this. They finally fixed or kind of compromised on his down forward one. So his down forward one still sucks. Um, I guess on hit, it's it's okay. It's plus five. But on block, it's negative six. So he had, in Tekken 7, he had more or less a, a typical, um, or sorry, I guess actually the CNT. He had, I think he still had his old down forward one. I can't remember. Anyway, he used to have like a more basic down forward one, which is really good. It was like negative two, negative three. He could still move around. Um, it recovered really quick. Like this is not that. <laughs> this is a crappy down forward one. However, what they did instead is uh, they've changed it so now the follow-up punches, the chain punches are only negative two. They were negative six as well prior to this patch. So now he has some options. Like you can actually move after that. Like you can step things, you can step jabs or whatever, um, or, you know, try to parry stuff. Uh, it was just not great <laughs> how, how at negative six. Um, so the fact that they did that is good. I think that that's an okay compromise. It means that you're not stuck here. If you want to go for the follow-up, you're not just stuck there anymore. Um, Cause at negative six, pretty much your only option was to try to parry unless they were going to do something really, really slow. So, uh, so that's really good. The other thing that they did is his hermit sidestep one plus two. They gave this to him just from a normal sidestep two. And this is important for a couple reasons, because in addition to all the heat and the other changes, like making that stuff safer and, and all of this, they didn't buff any of his lows, right? And to me, that was that's a huge weakness. Like they nerfed his lows outside of Hermit because he doesn't have the hell sweep from standing anymore. So this is his, uh, I think actually that does less. Yeah, so sidestep four is his heaviest low, which is ridiculous. Um, down three, two used to do 20 some damage in Tekken seven. I don't know, I still don't know why they nerfed it in Tekken eight. But uh, so he can't, unless it's a counter hit, he can't get a lot of damage from his lows. Um, so what he needs to do for offense is you can keep doing stuff like this and then try to do hermit stuff, but he really needs something like something from neutral to get his offense uh, started without having to go into hermit. And um, the reason that this sidestep one plus two is so good is because it does chip even without heat. And as you can see, it's plus seven, um, but it's a high. So now he has two reasons for you to duck if he steps on you, either side step four or side step one plus two. And if you're not ducking, like this side step uh, one plus two can keep you up. I mean, look at how much chip that does. I only did it three times and it's a quarter bar, third of a bar. Um, and if any of those hit, I, I can do it. I can spam it some more, right? Cause I'm gonna gain meter back. So this is another incentive for some, for people to duck which is really good because that's what he needs. Um, it would be nice, you know, of course, to have a low so that you have damage to get people to duck, 
But the alternative to that is to just have really, really strong highs, which is another thing that they changed his back three. So his back three, previously it would give this stun on counter hit only. Now it's normal hit. So if that hits on normal, he gets his one plus two, permit one plus two for free. So again, used to be a counter hit only thing. Now he's just getting it. And then for whatever reason, they also gave it an extra frame on block. So instead of plus eight, it's plus nine. I don't functionally, I don't think that has any difference. Maybe it does, but um, it's super strong. So now he has this other high. I mean, this was a spammable high before, but uh, the fact that even on normal hit, that can mess people up. Um, and you know if you just keep doing it it does a decent amount of chip on its own i think that he has the tools to just get people to duck and then once people start ducking now you can do all of your your strong mids there's a bunch um so yeah i it doesn't seem at first mm, i don't know how to describe it because it does they don't seem like overwhelming changes but because he got so much of it to so many different things that he needs to use even though they didn't fix like any of the stuff previously, like his uh, his down back four, you know, that used to be a launcher on counter hit. Technically, it still is from the right angle. You can you can get that, but um, it's not a consistent launcher. Uh, you know, like I mentioned, they they nerfed the damage on down three, two in Tekken eight. Like they didn't fix any of that stuff. Instead, they changed other things to make it fit his Tekken eight the Tekken 8 system, right? Um, so, oh yeah, and I guess they, they did change the frames. I don't think it's as impactful, but on his chain punches, those are negative two now. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's good. We'll see how it goes, but they seem like they're relatively strong changes when you factor them all in together. So I'm going to tentatively say Leroy is good now <laughs> and i guess the tournament uh results will uh back me up or not but um but yeah so that's all i have i wanted to go over leroy real quick because like i said i've done a few videos on him uh, especially geared towards tekken 8 um and i've been disappointed but i actually and i've more or less just stopped playing him because he just wasn't fun like none of the stuff that you could do in tekken 7 was really viable here um because they changed so many things but now with this, I, I think you can. I think that he is going to be more fun. Um, so I'm going to start playing him again. Probably not as a main, but uh, but definitely put a little bit more time into him and, and see how I feel. So that's all I have. Again, guys, uh, you know, sorry that the, the guides are getting delayed, but I am continuing to chip away at them and we definitely will get them out. So um, just hang in there. Uh, but keep, uh, you know, keep grinding, guys. Best of luck to you and... Uh, uh, I wish you the, you know, the best in your training. Have a good one.